edition. In any city, in any country, go to any Christian church you can get yourself to. To the first holy man or woman that approaches you, ask, I wish to see the holder of perdition. If the person you are speaking to looks confused, ask again. If on the third time they ask you to leave, do so. You're at the wrong church. If the holy person agrees and leads you upstairs, refuse and demand to go downstairs. Once the holy person takes you down to the end of the stairs, say, I no longer need you. Thanks. Otherwise, he or she will surely kill you in the dark catacombs of which you have arrived. Wait until you can no longer hear the holy person's footsteps. Then shut your eyes and walk forward until you hit a wall. Alternate between directions, right, backward, left, forward. Every sixteen steps in that pattern for one thousand and twenty-four steps. Right, backward, left, forward. Right, backward, left, forward. At no point should you open your eyes or lose count, or else you'll forever be lost in the labyrinth beneath that church. Once you have walked one thousand and twenty-four paces altogether, open your eyes. Before you will stand the same holy person who brought you down here Except now he or she dons a white robe that is covered in fresh blood. He or she will announce that they are the Lord of Perdition, not the Holder, and several torches will burst into flame behind him or her, revealing where the blood came from. A young girl between thirteen and sixteen will lie nude on an altar, with blood coming out of every orifice on her body. Do not feel pity or sorrow for the girl, or you will suffer her fate instead. Only ask, What makes you the Lord? Then, with conviction bordering on anger, You are just a holder. He or she will laugh, and you will see in your mind's eye every atrocity ever committed in the name of God and salvation. Resist these visions, and he or she will say, I make the damnation. I will define its lord. Say nothing to this, and he or she will become enraged, screaming at you in multiple tongues. At this point, focus on the pain and how wrong it is. Do not think of vengeance. Think of relief and peace and happiness. The holy person will stop his or her screaming. The room will become dark and he or she will say, This will not help you, seeker. It will only remind you of the suffering that has happened and you have yet to experience. Enjoy, fool. The blood-soaked garb of the holy person is object 329 of 538. The pain and suffering is not yet over.